Hello and welcome to another update video about Aave. Yeah, Aave hasn't actually done very much in the last few days. It's just been fluctuating a little bit. Um, hasn't made a new high, hasn't made a new low, sort of is sort of dancing around um, support and resistance. Still in this potential leading, di no, it's not the leading diagonal. It's actually potentially an ending diagonal. But either way, whatever it is, it could be leading. Then this is a one, two, one, two but we haven't even got the first five waves yet. Or an ending diagonal could be a C wave, um, but it ha likely hasn't started the fifth wave yet, okay? So that's still um, what we're watching for. I would like to see at the very least the $119 level to be reached. Better would be a little higher, possibly 138 in this fifth wave. That hasn't changed at all. Um, the question was, okay, has the fifth wave maybe already started? We marked it here with a question mark only with a question mark because it wasn't clear yet. And um, you see we're now pulling back. So probably it, it's not running yet. Um, we are likely still moving within the fourth wave. And in the fourth wave, we just have a more pronounced ABC structure in this overall diagonal. So A wave, B wave, C wave could very well go a little lower, no problem. Um, this uh, next key support level is at $81.83. And then we've got $74, $75 as next support just underneath. Ideally, I'd like to avoid that it goes below that level um, because that's the 50% retracement level of the distance of the third wave. Yeah, quick uh, double checking that. Yeah, it's the 50% level and that's critical also for a diagonal. Ideally, we don't want it to go below that level. It's acceptable though, but um, ideally it doesn't. It would just indicate a weakness. Um, okay, if it, ha if it has to, then it can come down to the golden ratio at $68. But honestly, below that level, I cannot justify anymore the yellow wave count, which is the bullish perspective. I will have to assume that the price has topped in a three wave structure, ABC, and we get possibly even new bear market lows or a very, very unre unreliable structure. There are always bullish possibilities, but you can't really entertain it without having a five wave move into one direction. So that would be, um, you know, if it, if, the, if it then still turns bullish, it would be a very exotic structure that shows normally low probabilities, but can of course work out. I mean, anything is possible. It's just that not everything is probable. So essentially, we're watching for the price to find support, possibly at 81.80 or 74.60. Price is still coming down. No sign of a low in place after this um, B wave likely topped. So A wave down, yeah, actually here. B wave to the upside and now the C wave down. Could get a few more squiggles to the downside. And um, normally for a fourth wave, an ideal target is the 38.2. Retracement, we'll see if it reacts there. Also, we have previous swing lows in this region around $83. So it could also uh, create a bit of a response there and then this ascending trend line. But for now, it looks like we go a little lower. But anyway, you know, it's um, just retesting support. Nothing broke, uh, no support level broke or anything. So the perspective is unchanged. So we can we continue to focus on, let's say, higher prices, um, but now need to wait for signals that this pullback is over. That's my update about Aave. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.